Look how much that thing like really glows inside there. And that's just like the little LED that just in there. Now imagine what we got like all the LEDs that we're gonna put inside there. man welcome back to another video man it's your boy mouse you already know what time it is man we in the garage uh we're not doing much work today man because it is getting kind of uh, cloudy and gloomy it's gonna start raining but you know i didn't drop a video yesterday because i had to cut hair it was friday i was actually more busy than what i expected and i just didn't really get a chance to really get into do anything with the box or with my truck but you know i decided to go ahead and make you guys a quick video update of what's going on with the fourth order band pass box you already know what time it is you know every time we start a video man we give shout outs to those who drop comments man so let's get into it so let's go ahead and we'll go first shout out goes to Corey borden if i said your name wrong bro i man i apologize big dog um but this shout out goes to you you comment that is dope i dig it thanks for sharing the technique and what he's actually talking about is the video before this one where I painted the box uh, uh, for the, the fourth order box with a plastic bag and a couple cans of spray cans. If you guys did not uh, watch that video, man, just simply just go back, uh, watch the video before this one, and you'll see what we're talking about. That way that I painted that box, man, that's actually the signature to a lot of boxes that I have built and the people that showed me how to build boxes or the people that I learned from build boxes, that's their signature as well. Um, we use that heavy at that other shop where I used to work at. Uh, man, it's just been a technique that we've been using for you know the longest man uh, that sh That thing's probably that technique with the plastic bag and the spray cans man that probably ages back to like The late 80s early 90s man. So uh, Badass technique if you didn't watch that video watch it learn how to paint your box like a pro man and make that thing looks badass Okay, next shout out actually goes to We'll say Benji Perez man uh, and Benji is actually a local uh, subscriber, you know, slash, you know, friend. Uh, he comment the fire and the ice uh, teeth and the fire emoji, man. Uh, he actually liked the box uh, and he actually liked the post on Instagram, man. So shout out to you, Benji, man. Uh, we need to link up with day and get your video on the channel, man, because he actually has a Hummer with a lot of speakers in it, man. It looks really badass. And hopefully I could get a demo and drop a nice video for you guys to check it out. And the last shout out goes to Firewalker69. He comment, it's looking great, giving me ideas for my fourth order. Keep banging away at it, man. I appreciate that big dog, man. You already know, uh, man. We just try to put in as much work as we can, whenever we can, to get that thing done. And like I always say, man, slow work is better than no work, man. Uh, if we would have just sticking around, uh, waiting to feel better, uh, waiting for the skies to get clear man we never would have been this far along on the box build as we are right now um, it's still in the building process man but we still got plenty of time man. we got till november to finish my truck actually october because i want to have that truck done for the beginning of, of october because i do want to go to a show in texas which is otm and i do want to go to slam fest which is in tampa florida and of course november man we're going to go to the florida classics man because out there man we're to everybody that dropped them comments man that's really badass you know i appreciate that man the comments help the videos get pushed out on youtube uh dropping them hitting them likes actually helps the video gets pushed out as well too man you know that's man, that's really badass man i appreciate all you guys big time and what's really you know badass i didn't even notice it till like right now when i started reading uh the comments uh, to give the shout outs man actually a few people uh, Jose Urbano man he actually tipped two dollars and he hashtag mousetrap gang which is badass big drummer beater man two dollars too man he tipped and he uh, put thanks and that's really badass uh, man that, that's really awesome for you guys man you know uh, honestly those uh, donations actually go towards you know getting better like um audio uh video equipment to make the cleaner videos uh to make content you know everything just to produce back into the channel 
so we can get this channel to grow, man. So, um, you know, definitely I'm going to remember these type of moments uh, from everybody that actually puts a little bit from their own to create this channel to be a lot bigger than what it is. Because, man, listen, one day all of us are going to sit back and we're going to watch these beginning videos and be like, damn, we really started from nothing. And now we're going to try to, you know, play with the big boys, you know what I'm saying? And we are going to play with the big boys, man. We're already doing big boy things, man, but we need to get out there and show them what we got. And I feel... Once my truck gets done, man, we're going to let everybody know what time it is, man, that we're out here, we ain't playing games, and we're going to do the YouTube takeover. And another thing, too, when I told you guys the other time about the membership, and I told you about clicking the the heart with the thanks, and that actually is um, just giving tips. I really didn't know that. I went back and actually got on YouTube, and I did a, bit, a little bit of research, and that button is just, just there for donations, which is really badass, man, and that's really awesome. Um, I really didn't know that button worked like that. I honestly thought that one was for the membership, man. So for you guys to go ahead and give donations again, man, that's really awesome. You know, I salute you guys big time, man. You guys are definitely Mousetrap Gang members, man. I'm going to show you real quick exactly how to join and become a member off your iPhone because um, I know if you get on your iPhone, you know, you can't see that join button. You actually have to get like on a desktop or Android phone, I think to see that join button or uh, wherever you guys are you know watching videos from you'll see that blue join button on the side where it says subscribe I think but I'm gonna show you how to do it on your iPhone just in case you guys don't know and I actually learned this the other day from watching a YouTube video man so shout out to YouTube again man YouTube is like the greatest thing that could ever happen to you know everybody everybody in their mama man you know YouTube man you are really awesome I love this platform um, I was a very heavy TikToker. Uh, man, we got like 25K, 26 uh, followers on that, which is awesome, man. I still get on TikTok, man. But listen, YouTube is where it's at, guys. Okay, so basically, you know, you're going to go to your Safari. You see what I'm saying? And you're going to want to put YouTube.com. And it's going to take you to the actual desktop. What you're going to want to actually do, uh, right here where, you know, you put your link and it has the double A, if you guys are looking at that, tap that then that is going to pop up then you're going to want to do request desktop website hit that button and then now you're going to come into the youtube desktop version on your iphone which is really badass i didn't know that's how it worked uh, so then you know you're just going to want to go into search uh, or however you can come across the uh, uh the youtube channel mousetrap i just went ahead and did a search for mousetrap and we are actually the first channel that comes up so you want to go ahead and click the channel uh, and then the, the, the front page of the channel is going to pop up and then right next to the blue uh, to the red subscribe button and you can see there's a blue highlighted uh, box and there's a join button you go ahead and you hit that if you want to become a member you hit join so you hit that join button okay Let's make this a little bit bigger. Okay, so basically there's three of them. There's Trap Star 1, Trap Star 2, and Trap Star 3. Trap Star 1 is $2.99 a month. Trap Star 2 is $6.99 a month. And Trap Star 3 is $24.99. Um, $24 I am still, you know, working out the details and figuring out exactly which each one does. You see what I'm saying? But for right now, um, everybody that signs up is going to get, you know, exclusive content. Uh, maybe when we start moving into the levels, um, we can do like one-on-one. -on -one. If you guys... Um, know how to like measure a car trunk and all that stuff and if you guys want to get a box built um build design you know when you get to like um either trap star level you know what i'm saying i wouldn't mind giving you guys the formula and giving you guys a cut list and making sure that you guys you know um get a good box design because every single specific box design that i do you know i put it on my computer program um but, you know, my computer sometimes, it's prehistoric and it works when it wants to and um, I get on it. But, you know, I got a lot of, you know, uh, formulas shot down, uh, which, you know, um, being a Trapstar member, man, gives you that exclusive 
ability to be able to get your hands on these badass box designs, man, because Man, we built some loud stuff. I'm just gonna leave it at that. I'm not really gonna say, oh, my truck's louder, this and that, man. I just know we built some loud stuff, man. We make them notes hit deep, we make some notes hit smooth, and, you know, we, we know what we do. I don't necessarily myself like to build boxes to hit ridiculous on the meters or to, you know, do so much stuff, man. We build boxes so we can jam, so we can enjoy our music, so we can pull up to the red light and shake everybody's windows, uh, all that stuff, man. That's what all my box are, are and supposed to do man we build street jammers boomers man you see what i'm saying i thought i'd just clear that up you know so the the heart with the thanks on it that's just for tips if you guys want to you know uh support the channel and drop some tips man that's awesome uh if you guys want to go ahead and join for 2.99 6.99 24.99 uh trap star one two and three man you know go ahead and do that so enough of that stuff man let's go ahead and get back to uh the silverado build okay so if you guys watched previous video you've seen that we went ahead and painted the box and i actually went ahead and just threw a led strip in there just to see what it looked like uh glowing although uh, we still had some light inside the garage that box was still glowing like like psh, real nice and i actually went ahead like i said i went that the route doing the black with the silver splotches on it because that silver man it has like a shiny reflective uh coating on it like chrome i guess you want to say so when that light's beaming on it man that thing is just like like it just gives it a whole different other impression you see what i'm saying and um that's what i was looking for because i want to get the most out of them led lights because yes when you put led lights it does look good man but sometimes you have to do a little extra stuff to go ahead and make that thing you know glow something fierce and that thing looks bloody man Man, drop in the comments and let, let me know what you guys think. What should we name the, the Silverado? The Silverado needs a name. You see what I'm saying? I, I actually like the whole bloody theme, you know, with uh, that red that just, you know, popped out whenever I put them LEDs lights on it, man. That thing looked like really bloody. It looked like there was a massacre. So drop in the comments, man. Let me know what you guys think we should name this truck because I do want to keep the white with the red on. You know, we do have some, like, red on the truck. You know, my Z71, it has this red on it. Uh, okay, now don't mind the truck, man. It's dirty. It's I try to wash it, but look, you know, over there, man, that rain's coming over there as well, too. And we actually have red on the Z71. And look, we have a tag that's from actual Mexico, man. My uh, uncle sends these tags over here to me, uh, and that's the state where, you know, our family's from. from. And I really like having the, the Mexican tags on the truck, man. It makes the truck look that much cooler. And people always ask me that, like, oh, did I buy this truck in Mexico? Or how much did they tax me to bring the truck from over here? Because sometimes when you go into Mexico and you buy a truck, uh, you know, I always say you have to apply for the truck to get citizenship because you need to pay the taxes to convert it from a Mexican truck to an American truck so you can come over here on this side um, which is the United States and be able to register it because if it just stays a Mexican truck uh, you won't be able to register it you have to pay the taxes on it and you have to do all the legal you know paperwork to convert it from a Mexican truck to an American truck but after we get done you know put in the box and a lot of the stuff on there I'm gonna go ahead and drop the truck I think I'm gonna go probably with like two inches in the front and we're gonna do like a three inches in the back or a four uh, because I don't really want to like drop it down low but I do want to you know get this wheel cap away from here you know I want to at least you know drop it like in this area and then we're gonna change out the brakes uh, and the rotors we're gonna do a nice uh, slotted rotors with some brake um, the, the red calipers on it and like it has these like pink looking shocks back there and we're gonna do some nice Beltec shocks on it and then we're gonna paint a majority of this frame because man, I think it's got some rust on it. So we're gonna go ahead and scuff that up and make sure all that stuff's up to par, man, because I don't want no rust, you know, spreading on it. And we're gonna grind it once this thing's on jack stands and get in its drop kit and make sure that thing looks really awesome. And the other thing, I was watching another YouTuber's video last night and he actually has a Z71 clone um, but it's the same like uh, front grille and same pretty much body style of truck But it's his is a single cab not the four doors like mine, but he actually has like a badass wing on it and I know you can buy the wings on it and You can buy them to get color match white But actually he had his that was carbon fiber man And I actually feel like that carbon fiber uh, wing would actually set off the back and I am gonna go ahead and get that carbon fiber once we get done with everything because 
uh, once we get done with you know building the box then everything uh, can just stay inside there we don't have to keep removing the box uh, in and out and stuff like that because once it's done then all the beauty cosmetic stuff of the truck can go back on it so here's the box right now uh, I just have it inside here um, I haven't pushed it up because the last time it was gonna start raining and I wanted to hurry up and put the box I just don't like it laying around uh, so I just put it in the bed of the truck but man it doesn't this truck does not leak nothing at all so you know I'm not really even worried about it and you can see like you can't even tell where the staple holes are at after you texture it and paint it man which is really badass so the next step for the box is since I haven't put the top piece on yet uh, we have to put LED strips down and I actually do have the LED strips over here plenty of LED you know rolls that we still got that we're gonna go ahead and do them which are, are these guys and we're gonna go ahead and put those in a good amount of areas so we know the box is blowing really badass where you're looking at it through the back and you stick your head inside the cab and look inside the port and these clips right here are the ones that are really badass working with these LED lights I have bought these when I did the underglow kit in my trailblazer and they said that these were the ones that were supposed to be badass. But listen, these things were are a nightmare. Don't ever buy these clips at all. These are not the ones. These are the ones right here. So when you order these clips, they actually come like this. It's like a plug uh, where you can connect them here and there. But what I do is this is the plug that you actually need. This is the plug that you actually need and I just cut this piece off right here and I don't really don't use it because I just use the wires and we solder connection and then we run our uh, wire wherever we got to. Uh, so I have uh, more RGB wire coming because we're going to need to track it up to uh, where the controllers are going to be at maybe uh, in the console when we build it a lot of the electronic parts of it are going to get stuffed inside the console because the console is going to have a good enough area to do circuit boards and put relays and all that stuff and hide them really nice and neat and you know we are going to have to come up with a wiring diagram so where we know every single wire is at what wire is going to what how much fuses everything got so like we're going to go all out and really wire this thing up you know the best and professional manner that we can with harnesses um, clips uh, fuses and everything once the lights get siliconed in place uh, holes are drilled to uh, feed wire through them silicone back up then we can go ahead and put the lid on it and then we can go ahead and cut our window out so we can have access to go ahead and build um, the lid and the window so we can be able to put the subs inside there then once the uh, lid is actually in place we're just going to build the final brace that the box needs into the center. Um, and I think we're going to do that brace actual removable. Um, but we're going to go ahead and do it, you know, a little bit extra so we know that it's beefy, it stays in place, and it doesn't rattle. Um, because I still need to have good access to go ahead and take these subs out if they ever blow or if I ever want to swap subs out. So um, it doesn't really create a big problem, man. It's just a matter of a couple of screws another couple screws and then you know easy access to take the subs in and out or swap out once that gets done man we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna cut this bed up man we're gonna really cut it up like I, I can't believe we're gonna actually cut the bed and like I said in any of my other previous videos like the Sun is already coming uh, that means that this, this rain is fixing to come down uh, but like I was saying man, I never really thought I was gonna I didn't buy this truck with the intentions of cutting it up and uh, putting a blow through in it my intentions were with this truck to be able to tow my trailblazer with it um you know i you know we do have um family stuff that we do uh maybe sometimes my sisters need a hand you know moving stuff i need sometimes to move stuff i buy parts that i need a big area so you know this truck was intended for that but that's no fun you know same word i'm not going to be realistic you know i don't like having stock trucks we need to at least have a little system and we're going to have some fun with this truck because we need to be out there and representing for you guys man the mousetrap gang when we cut the bed man that's that is it you see what i'm saying there's no going back warranty is void on this thing and you know we're just going to continue to go forward with it that man you know we have so many plans that we're trying to get done um you know we're all doing this together as one because you know it's we all live through each other you know what i'm saying like i live through you guys and you guys live through the channel not me the channel and the builds because i get eager 
to drop a video and to see what you guys uh, comment, your reactions to stuff, and you know to make sure that I give you the ooh and the ah factor. And you know we haven't even begun to do anything yet. That's even badass. Wait, wait till we really get pick up on a lot of stuff and we're able to do some crazy ass stuff, man. That's when we able to you know really step up a notch, be able to really travel and see a majority of all you the subscribers uh, let you guys get a feel and you know sit inside these vehicles and and hear it you know what i'm saying before i was just a matter of you know building some nice stuff making it look nice and it sounded pretty good now we're just gonna build loud you know what i'm saying i'm not even gonna play anymore man we're gonna build nothing but loud stuff max power uh everything man so you know we got a lot to come into the channel man i'm very happy that you guys are very you know a part of it in the beginning stages you see what i'm saying because you guys can see the growth you know when i finally decided to you know start this youtube journey man i never really did it with the intentions of you know trying to become that famous youtuber man you know never at all um man i'm just an average guy i love you know my speakers i've always loved them even in bad times you know i've always tried to you know go to car shows see the sound systems you know uh, talk to people you know go to shops see other stuff and even now as I was young man I remember I would skip school and just go to like other cities just to go see other sound systems and you know I, even when I was in high school my dream was to always work at the shop where I worked at and you know finally when I had the, the courage to go and ask for a job you know I proved myself good that first boot camp week I'm gonna call it and then I was there for the next eight, 10 years, man. You see what I'm saying? And when I started this YouTube journey, man, it was, like I said, I, it was never with the intentions to try to become that famous YouTuber or none of that stuff, man. I just like to share my vision, creations, uh, techniques uh, with you guys. Um, some of you guys are car audio installers, builders, fabricators, uh, you know, uh, viewers, you know, et cetera, et cetera and you know i always i'm always big on saying you know we all learn from somebody um there's nothing that we all know for sure you know maybe i'm doing something maybe this other guy's doing the same thing but he's doing something a little bit different and maybe his different technique is going to work for me and it's going to make my work that much better or maybe i'm doing something that the next person is doing but i'm doing something different and if that person tries that it's going to make his skill that much better you see what i'm saying so we all learn from each other uh, from the comments, uh, dropping the videos, um, interacting and talking. Uh, you know, we're all here to learn, man. That's what these videos are intended for, man. And, you know, I'm going to keep dropping these videos. Um, like, I'm always going to keep repeating, our. Uh, you know, we're not professionals. Man, we're just trying to do car audio at the house. Uh, letting you guys see that you can do car audio at your house. And you don't, have to, you don't have to spend all these ridiculous amounts of money going to a shop and buying all these crazy tools when you know just use your vision your creativity and just make it work and it's going to come out good man uh, you see what i'm saying so um man with that being said i'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go man it is saturday man it just got really bright so that means it's about to rain uh, man i got my son inside and i got my daughter uh we're gonna see what we actually get into and man hopefully tonight man tonight they do those takeovers in tampa where they block the streets and everybody's doing donuts in the middle of the road but those don't even start till like midnight. So I'm gonna see if I can try to get, make my way out there and see what we can do and get you guys some badass footage for the next video, man. But that's it for today, man. I appreciate every single one of you guys. I appreciate everybody that drops comments, everybody that leaves the tips, that's that's crazy. Um, and the people that become members to you know be a little bit more helping hand to the channel to make us grow, man. So everybody, man, I salute you guys. Have a good Saturday night, stay safe, and I'm gonna catch you guys tomorrow, man. Peace.